guys, this is Dan from iPadJailbreak.com. I'm going to go through and show you some of the best things about iOS 7 on the iPad. Um, first, I really love this lock screen. Um, right now I have something playing here. Um, I, have a, I have a YouTube video that's up here you can see. Um, I've AirPlay mode enabled. You can just pop that open from the lock screen. Um, notification center as well. You can pull up all your notifications. Um, right now I don't have any, but it, anyway you can pull up your camera right from the lock screen. I like how the the UI, you, you throw that down and it bounces a little bit. So the lock screen, the, you know, they spend a lot of time getting this pretty nice and it really uh, showcases your your uh, background a little bit more uh, without so much black and um, shading all the way throughout it. So another thing um, on the lock screen is the uh, ability for the uh, panoramic uh, wallpapers on the, on the lock screen as well. So really gives a chance to showcase um, the lock screen here. Let me go ahead and hop out of YouTube. If I pull that up again, this is, uh, let me try to zoom this a little bit better here for you. As you can see, I have an airplane mode right here. Um, I can switch to airplane mode. I can switch my Wi-Fi on and off Bluetooth. Um, Control Center, I'd say, is one of the second, well, another great thing about um, the, uh, the new iOS 7 on the iPad. Um, have quick access to your camera, your clock, your access to your volume, uh, your display brightness. So I can just grab this and bring my brightness up and down really quick. It's hard to tell with the uh, auto auto uh, dis display here. So another thing if you'll notice real quick here is another good thing about iOS 7 is there I can't scroll to the left. Um, sometimes when I was scrolling through my apps I'd go one too far and I'd end up on my spotlight search. Um, so that's no more. It'd be nice if they started you maybe in the middle of your apps instead of all the way on the left hand side so that you're scrolling to the right only. Um, but just grab the home screen, pull down on it, and it brings your uh, spotlight search up. So I can search for uh, a game or whatever if they want to find the app store. If I'm looking for a particular person, um, it'll quickly pull those up for you. So um, another good thing about iOS is iOS 7 in the iPad is you just just pick it, grab it down, it'll pull up your spotlight search. You can do it, I believe, on any page. So it doesn't matter if I'm on the home screen or on uh, one of my kids' games page, I can pull that up and I can do a quick search. Um, for more for more good things about iOS 7, uh, if you go to your settings app here, settings has been completely redesigned. Uh, it's very clear, very white, uh, almost a little bit too white for me, um, but it does give you access to a few additional things and uh, the wallpaper is going to show you. Um, this is number another good thing about the iOS is it splits off your camera uh, things on your camera roll, your your photo screen that you have separately, and then your panoramas. So, um, so I can select one of those for a wallpaper, or I can select a dynamic wallpaper. I'll just go ahead and show you that here real quick. Uh, it's just dots brought in on your on your wallpaper screen. So on your home screen, or on if you can barely read here, it says set lock screen, set home screen, set both, just like it did in the past. Um, that's the only downside with some of the darker wallpapers is it's it's sometimes the contrast. Especially on the iPhone, I noticed so I can't read the icon labels and those kinds of things. Um, so this is a preview of what it would look like on your on your uh, lock screen. Um, again, the the stills have the uh, the effect that I'd mentioned before. Um, if you if you bend if you rotate it, it looks like your your clock and everything is like hovering above all the stars. If you rotate it from side to side, um, it does uh, it does give a little bit of a 3D effect. So they did spend some time. Um, getting that customized and uh, setting that up real nice. So, another good thing about iOS 7 is if you head to your music app and I go back to the store here. Let me just let me just uh, close my music app here real quick. Hit the radio here. So on the bottom. Another good, another good thing about iOS 7 is the radio. So you can just press listen, and it'll give you some uh, different options. You can pick playlists. You can set your own um, your own music. Uh, you, you basically it's kind of like Pandora or Spotify, where you you know you you create a whole a whole station around an artist. Um, so let's say I like alternative. It's like specific specific indie rock. Um, it'll make a station around that, and uh, I'm not going to play that. So another nice thing here in iOS 7 is uh, you double tap the home button 
Um, you can see all of your apps that you have open. And you have a nice little uh, screenshot of each of them. As you can see, they're all, all the screenshots are in uh, landscape mode. Um, you, can also, you also have the icons. You can just select one of those. So you have three or four or five at the same time you'll be able to select. So if I scroll over here, I can, you know, I can almost see the clock here. But um, you can select one of these apps and it'll pull it right up. And again, if you swipe up from the swipe up from the bottom, it's supposed to pull up the app switcher as well with your with four fingers, which seems to be a little buggy with control control center opening. I have four fingers off of it. And it's supposed to pull up that app switcher. So let me try that again with a with an app open. Four fingers off pulls up your app switcher. Close if I swipe with all four fingers, it'll swipe between the apps. Um, this has been available since iOS 5. It was the multitasking gestures. I believe it might even have been in 4.3. Um, so anyway, another good feature in iOS 7 um, is the app switching ability. Another uh, good feature here is if you go to the camera, this is an iPad 2. If I switch to video, um, you have the ability to zoom in, as you can see right here, the, the bar. That shows up on the bottom of my video. So if I press record and then I pinch, uh, you can see the bar along the bottom zooming in and out. And I'm not recording a video right now, but uh, I can do that on the on my camera on my iPad on my iPhone. I'm using right here. I'm zooming in and out just like that, just the same thing. So you can pan it, or you can just basically zoom in from the center. It doesn't matter where you pinch and zoom; it's going to zoom right into the center. So. Um, it's another good feature in iOS 7. good feature here in iOS 7 is that you can grab your newsstand app and you can throw it into a folder if you don't want to see it. So let's say that I don't use my uh, photo booth either. I can toss it into a folder. You used to not be able to put it in a folder. I'm not a fan of the new folder layout. Um, it used to just be you push it in a little, it would pop up instead of opening a whole new window. Um, but it's the same way on the iPhone. I used to be handy when you'd hit a folder and it would open up with a little a little window, a bubble above it with all the icons in it. So that's a little disappointing uh, with the new folder setup. I'm not really a big fan of it. Um, but you, you, you are allowed to set uh, more in there, so that's another feature that's improved. So um, Safari has been greatly improved in uh, iOS 7. If I head over here, I can just keep opening tabs, more and more tabs. And it won't, it won't, doesn't limit you on how many you can have open. And also, you can, um, it's a, just a single bar at the top. It's not the separate search over here on this side with uh, the URL on that side. So, so, if I type in iPad jailbreak, um, it'll recognize that I either have a favorite or a hit, and then it'll pull it up and uh, open it up right there. So, I believe if I hit 25 tabs, um, if you hit this little dot, dot, dot here, uh, it starts dropping off the list. So, you actually, you'll if you open too many tabs, the very your oldest tab or your very first tab will fall off the list, is what I found. So it is possible to uh, have too many tabs open still. Um, there is a limit. So um, there's a nice AirDrop feature. Um, you can just throw things that you want to keep track of. Um, you can share it. You can do your little swipe up here. Um, just quickly toggle, and then you can hit your iCloud and. Uh, save tabs and those kinds of things. They've also improved their bookmarks a little bit if you jump to your um, reading list and those kinds of things. So dark light mode, so you can switch your your uh, invert your colors like this. So I really wish they had had a dark mode available. Maybe not with the purple and the green and those things, um, but I wish they had a dark mode available on the iPad. So. Now this is just the invert colors. The only problem with it is it inverts all the colors and everything. So all your apps or even your photos, if you go into them, they're going to be backwards if you open one up or whatever. Um, but opening your camera, uh, another, another nice feature here is that they separate out your videos separately from everything else. So let me go back to my multitasking here and switch back to normal colors. Double tap, you can just jump right around back and forth. Um, again, I did. I, I've used this feature a lot with the four fingers, which has been around forever, though. So I go into here. I can see that I have one video in there that I just made. If I go into this way, my video is uh, are included in the camera roll, but it just separates your videos out. So, 
Be sure to drop a comment or a question if you have anything else you'd like to see or showcase on an iOS 7. Um, I'd be happy to, to answer your question or maybe provide a video showing you a feature that's in iOS 7. So be sure to check us out at iPadJailbreak.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel at iPadJailbroken on YouTube. Thanks, guys.